Lots of speculation on Twitter that Archie's christening photo was heavily edited. Some social media theorists claim Archie's photo received a substantial amount of post-editing, and that, among other things, Meghan's ring is bigger in the photo than in real life. Kate's chair legs are missing. Camilla's dress has been altered. Doria's face appears to be cropped. Kate appears flat and mannequin-like and Prince William's head is misshapen. Some internet detectives claim William is far too tall in Archie's photo and towers above his father Charles. Others claim Will's head of hair appears thicker and more voluminous. Still, other online commenters say that Prince appears pixelated while some claim his expression was one of strain and disdain. In fact, William's neutral expression was likely intentional as to not distract from Meghan and Harry's shining moment. Some online theorists are certain that Archie's photo call and christening took place on the same day. The proof? The conspiracy-happy digital detectives claim Harry's suit is the same and Meghan's shoes are identical. Further craziness in online forums claiming that Archie's photo data indicates it was taken on May the 8th, 2019, the same day as the photo call at Windsor. There was some confusion about Catherine and William's fashion in the official photos as both appeared to arrive in different frocks for the christening. Some thought that this was a sure sign of royal shenanigans. Further speculation claims Archie was actually christened on Princess Diana's birthday, July the 1st, or Independence Day. Some media outlets were quick to discover the clock in the photos shows a time of 11.54am. Archie's photos were released four hours later as promised. Some claimed William drove his Audi into Windsor Castle grounds around noon. But other media outlets said it was actually in the morning, as expected. And Little Archie was christened at 11am, per the court circular. People don't believe the Spencer sisters were at Archie's christening. That entire photo is one big photoshop. Diana's sisters would never wear a fedora hat to a Buckingham Palace christening. And Catherine is huge in that photo. Her head's twice the size of William's and she looks eight feet tall. Charles and Camilla strangely dressed in the same clothes as Lewis's christening. The Sussexes a never-ending font of huge lies and deception. The royal family have always maintained complete silence, never complain, never explain. They'll never challenge or question what's printed in the media. That's what Meghan and Harry know and act because of. Meanwhile, Meghan Kelly, a vocal critic of the couple, who used to work for Fox News, has claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be using the royal titles of their children in order to pay the bills. While Archie and Lilibet weren't given HRH status at birth due to their position in the line of succession, changes have now been made after formal discussions took place with the King. Meghan claimed in an interview with Sky News Australia that the only reason the couple are popular in the US is because of their children's titles. Their approval ratings are through the floor. They went down even lower in America and in the UK over the past couple of months. Calling your kid prince and princess isn't going to help, she added. Look at these pathetic, money-grabbing spotlight addicts. King Charles invites them to the coronation, despite their mean girl betrayals. And it's, uh, well, we'll have to think about it. 